Hey, what's up? It's your boy J. Will coming back with another one. Let's talk about these Eagles. You already know. Sub to your boy. Like the video. Man, these guys were tripping yesterday. I'm talking about tripping. It's like the DBs couldn't cover, the linebackers couldn't cover. Everybody just looking trash out there. I'm like, I'm really confused how they let a rookie, Chase Pool, what's his man name? Chase, Chase Claypool from Notre Dame go crazy. This man hasn't had a game like this all season. I know it's only been, what, four or five games, whatever. But he hasn't done this on nobody else. He's looked nice, and he's, he's looked like a promising receiver. But he hasn't looked like this on nobody else this year. And somehow, he does it against the Eagles. You know who the Eagles have? One of the best corners in the league. Darius Slay. One of the best corners in the league, and you let this young rookie get four touchdowns. How does that happen? Four TDs, 110 yards, seven receptions on 11 targets. Like, what was going on? This man even had a rushing touchdown. This man had a field day on y'all. He, he scored 28 points alone himself. Really, I want to say he scored 29 because I want to say they went for two one time. He scored 28 points alone, though. You know what the Eagles had all together as a team? 29 points. The Eagles had 29 points as a team all together. And Chase, Chase Claypool, he scored four tubs by himself. Four tubbies. He just he's having he's having a great time against the Eagles defense. We just we just made this man's whole career off of one game just because the Eagles can't cover this man. He's gonna have a job for the next five years just because he just I mean he's gonna be a nice receiver, but even if he wasn't gonna be what he what he is now, just off of this game alone, he's gonna always have a job in the league. And you know why that is? That's because of the Philadelphia Eagles. Darius Slay Jr. Just get on him. Um, bro, Shorts, Jim Shorts, bro, just put him on him. Like, after, after a while, after a while of seeing somebody get two touchdowns, you can be like, all right, bro, like, chill, bro. <laughs> all right, all right, like, whatever we going, we going to do whatever at this point so that this man do not get in the end zone. After you give up two it's like, come on, bruh. Like, we not going to let this man get back in the end zone again. And somehow, y'all let him get it back in the end zone two more times for four touchdowns. That is just unbelievable, bruh. Unbelievable embarrassing. Eagles need to get it together. They need to get that defense together. They need Carson Wentz needs to get right. I mean, it, at least you can do is not turn over the ball. That's all we're asking for. Just don't turn over the ball, and you're and we're good. We're good. Two picks. I mean, one came at the end of the game where he just throwing it up on fourth and twenty, but still. And I mean, I can't I can't put too much on Wentz just because the whole O line is diminished. You know, his top three wide receiver core, his top three they gone. Aguilar, he don't got Jeffrey, he don't got Jackson. But, I mean, you can control turnovers. And Miles Sanders was having a great day as well. They could have just kept on handing him the ball. Uh, you know, just we need a limit putting the ball in Wentz's hands. Because, I mean, clearly he doesn't have enough around him right now to get it done. He just needs a little more help. He's not the guy. We, he's not a Rodgers. He's not a Mahomes where everything's just messed up and he's just going to be able to put it on his back and do it. Like, um, I'm noticing he going to need a little more around him for him to be the complete player he can be. He's a great, he's going to be a great player. He's a great player, but he can't just do it alone by himself without the help around him. He needs, he needs some productive players around him. And uh, Fulgham, Fulgham, he, he went crazy. He might be a upcoming receiver for the, for the Eagles. He went, he went crazy. He was one of Wentz's favorite targets out there. Uh, 
what he had 10 catches 152 yards one touchdown like where's this man been all season <laughs> J.J. Arcega white side play, you know, he didn't do much but had one catch. Still kind of, man, skeptical about that pick. How you how you pass up on Juju to get J.J. Arcega white side? Okay. <laughs> Whatever, though, man. The Eagles need to get right. You already know it's your boy, J. Will, coming back with another one. Sub to your boy. Like the video. We coming with it, man. Let's get it.